Today we will learn about Kingdom Monera, Protista and Fungi. Scientists named Ernest Haeckel, Robert Whittaker and Carl Woese divided all living organisms into five kingdoms based on cellular structure, sources and methods of nutrition and body organization. These are the five kingdoms Monera, Protista, Fungi, Plantae and Animalia. In the previous video, we understood about the five kingdom classifications. Today, let us discuss Monera, Protista and Fungi in detail. First of all, we will understand about Monera. Organisms of Monera kingdom are the first living organisms created on the earth such as bacteria, blue-green algae that is cyanobacteria, mycoplasma, etc. All the organisms in this kingdom are unicellular and their body is made up of a prokaryotic cell that is, the cell does not have organized nucleus and cell organelles. Among them, genetic material, DNA is made up of single circular molecule. Some of these organisms have cell wall and some do not. Similarly, some creatures of this world like blue-green algae are autotrophic. That is, they can make their own food by the process of photosynthesis and some organisms like bacteria are heterotrophic, that is, they cannot make their own food. Rather, they depend on other living organisms and dead organic matter for food. Organisms of the Monera kingdom produce offspring from asexual reproduction. They mainly perform asexual reproduction by methods of binary fission and budding. Bacteria are found in almost all places. They are also found in extreme and unfavorable conditions such as hot water springs, ice, deep sea and desert where it is difficult for other organisms to survive. These can be classified into four groups based on their size. Circulococcus, rod-shaped bacilli, comma-shaped vibrio, spiral-shaped spirillum. Now, let us know about the Kingdom Protista. The Kingdom Protista mainly consists of aquatic organisms such as amoeba, paramecium, euglena, etc. Most organisms of this kingdom are unicellular but have a body made up of eukaryotic cells. That is, the cell has a well-organized nucleus and the other membrane-bound organelles. Some of these organisms have cell wall and some do not. Some of these organisms have structures such as cilia, flagella for locomotion. With the help of pseudopodia, amoeba performs locomotion and takes food. The method of nutrition of some of these organisms is autotrophic and the method of nutrition of some organisms is heterotrophic. Some organisms such as Trypanosoma protozoa are parasites which cause the disease like sleeping sickness. In these, some organisms reproduce by asexual method and some organisms reproduce through sexual reproduction. Cell fusion and formation of zygote are adopted in sexual reproduction. Now, let's discuss the kingdom fungi. The fungi kingdom is also called the fungus kingdom. These includes organisms like yeast, mold, mushroom, etc. 
Most fungi are multicellular, made up of long, thin thread like structures. These structures are called fungal fibers. But yeast is a unicellular. They are made up of eukaryotic cells which have a well organized nucleus and other membranous cytoplasm. Their cells contain cell walls which is made up of complex carbohydrates called chitin. Some of these organisms depend on dead and rotten organic materials for nutrition. These are called saprophytes. Some organisms receive their nutrition as living protoplasm from host body such as from an animal or a plant. These are called parasites. Some fungi may also form permanent interconnections with algae such as blue-green algae and higher grade plants that aid in nourishing each other. Such fungi are called symbiotic or lichen and such a relationship is called symbiosis. In fungi, reproduction can occur through asexual and sexual methods. Fragmentation, fission and budding are the types. Asexual reproduction is caused by the spore called conidia, sporangiospores or zoospores. Sexual reproduction takes place by oospores, ascospores and basidiospores. The structures in which all these spores are produced are called fruiting bodies. Sexual reproduction takes place in three stages. The first is the fusion of protoplasm of two motile or non-motile gametes known as plasmogamy. Then there is a fusion of two nuclei which is called karyogamy. In zygotes, haploid spores are formed by the method of meiosis from which new organisms are formed. Now, an interesting question for you. Just think, why do we keep our food in the refrigerator? Absolutely right. Keeping a food in refrigerator keeps the food from getting spoiled by bacteria and fungi. So now you must have understood these kingdoms. So today we have learned about Kingdom Monera, Protesta and Fungi.